Now that we know our threading is good to go, we can sew our seam for real. So I have two pieces of fabric here that I've pinned together with the right sides together. That means the printed sides are touching. And you always want to pin your seams when you sew them. That's because the fabric might wiggle around if it's not pinned. So the pins just hold everything in place so you know where they're going to be and where your pieces are going to be as you're sewing. So for my seam, I'm going to leave it on my straight stitch, so that's number one, on your direct selection menu. And I'm going to take my fabric and put it under the presser foot. And again, I'll use my 5 8 inch guideline on the right side of my foot. And I want the fabric to be pretty much even with the, the needle right at the top. So I'll put my presser foot down. When you select your regular straight stitch, number one, there will automatically be a tie-off at the beginning. This is how your machine secures the threads. So it will sew in place a few times when we start sewing. All right, I'm going to go for it. So there's my tie-off. And now I'm going to keep going. When I get to a pin, I'm going to take that out. You don't want to sew over your pins. You can break your needle or damage your machine. And as my machine sews, I'm going to not push or pull the fabric through the machine. The machine pretty much does that on its own. It's just my job to gently guide it and keep it straight as I sew. When I get to the end, I want to make sure that I secure the end of the seam too. So I'm going to stop just before the end and I'm going to do something called a back stitch. So that's sewing backwards a few stitches and then back forward. So I'm going to hold the reverse button, push the pedal down, and then I'll click the reverse button again to go back forward. I'll lift my presser foot, pull my project out, slice my threads on the thread cutter, and there is my beautifully sewn seam. The second part of sewing a seam, which is a crucial part and a part you don't want to skip, is pressing the seam. I'm going to take my fabric and put it on my pressing board right here, but you can just use a regular old ironing board. And I'm going to press this seam open. So that means I'm going to take my iron and separate the sides of the seam allowance and just press it open like this. Pressing will make your projects look nice and professional and finished, and it will help all of your pieces line up with each other as you are constructing something. So you definitely don't want to skip it.